and Ryan LeFlair. Our tail of the take. Matt Hughes. Ready? Ryan LeFlair. Here we go. Fight scheduled for three five minute rounds. White trunks for LeFlair. Green trunks for Hughes. One thing to keep an eye out for in any Matt Hughes fight is his wrestling ability. His ability to take fighters down and control them from the top is one of his strongest abilities. Misses with the kick. The flare caught by that straight right. Left right. They're going after it quick here. He's really mixing things up tonight. And he connects, using his jab very well. Delivered that right to the midsection of his opponent. Oh, double jab. He's been landing a lot of uppercuts in this fight. They could be a big factor. Absolutely, Jay. That uppercut has been lethal. He's doing a really good job of timing these shots. Leclerc with a solid jab. Man, he can't take too many of those body shots. Hughes with a nice punch. Quick slip of the left. Caught him with a punch. Oh, spinning back fist. He solved it right there. Very nice. Standing and trading. Exactly what we had hoped for. Nice jab. He lands a clean combination. He's really doing a good job of controlling distance and getting off these shots. Look at that, he's timing that jab. He was able to block that big punch to the head. Oh, he lands the roundhouse to the body. Strong kicks by LaFleur. Joey really starting to see some damage done due to those body strikes. Nice flip. Looks like he's looking to set up that uppercut. Good job of timing this combination of strikes here. Great punch by LaFleur. Good job blocking the punch. Joe, nice slip of that left hand by LaFleur. Strong jab by Hughes. He avoids damage with the nice block. Oh, big swing and a miss. There's the jab. Good job blocking the punch. That's a nice clean shot. Good striking. Oh! His left eye is really starting to swell here. Close in the distance. He's got the clinch, Joe. Oh, he completes the suplex. Good elbow by LeFlair. Half guard and the end of the round. Matt Hughes' cheek is getting worse, Joe. It certainly is. That's a nasty cut. It's in a some real clean. Joe, that was a good round. But let's see if the fighters can even turn it up from here. That was a solid round. The feeling out process is over. I think they're going to get after it now. Interesting when Matt Hughes first broke onto the UFC scene. Uh, his trainer, Pat Militich, was the guy who was the title holder in that division. And Matt kind of worked his way up, Joe. And then once he got the big stage in which to perform on, he dominated on it and then dominated the welterweight division for years. Yeah, training under Pat Militich was really the, uh, at the time, was, was the ultimate place for uh, Matt Hughes to launch his career. Pat Militich was one of the great fighters to uh, enter the octagon and one of the first very well-rounded fighters. And to trade under Pat's tutelage was uh, really uh, an awesome opportunity for young Matt Hughes. And there's another very nice kick. Quick jab. Ryan LeFlair has got the reach advantage in this one, but he hasn't used it effectively. He definitely could be doing a far better job of utilizing his natural reach advantage and doing a far better job of placing himself out of range of his opponent's shots. Three minutes remain in the round. And he lands the punch. Re really strong, strong side control here, Mike. Oh, yeah. 
Hughes goes into north-south. Landed some big punches from this position. And he gets reversed. Hits the reversal and north-south. Reversal here, nicely done. Solid dirty boxing by Hughes. That bruise on his torso is getting much worse. Nice lead of the body. Joel's elbows are vicious, and they're doing a ton of damage. Trying to finish it right here. He's free. That guillotine was close. Side control. He's got a full mount here. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. He connects with a big punch from the top. There he goes. Back Joe to mount out. again. He's got some space now. He's posturing up. In half guard. 20 seconds. He's throwing that left hook with ill intention. Hughes caught by the straight left. Both men landing in that exchange. Right. And the round comes to an end. Matt Hughes is showing the effects of another great bat. He's got a big cut below his eye. Not the worst spot. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Your round, you dominated that. All right, I need more of the same. This is the last five minutes. You ready? You ready? Third Fight. and final round. Comes out swinging. That cut on his cheek is getting worse. Oh, good left hand. He blocks the punch. Nice punch by LeFlair. Good job of timing strikes here. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. He tags him with the left. Boy, he is swinging for the fences. Hughes with a solid jam. Matt Hughes is continuing to punish that eye. Yes, he is. That's a good target for him. He sees the swelling, and it's going to impede his opponent's vision. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. Nice jab, very snappy jab. Man, Joe, he is truly showcasing his striking skills. Oh, there he connected. He misses with the straight right. Firing that left hand. Man, is he defending nicely. And a good jab. Leclerc with a strong combination. Caught him with a right. That was a very hard right hand. Oh, man. Big uppercut. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Nice, solid left hand. One of the most decorated champions in UFC history. Matt Hughes can great exchanges. That punch was blocked. He tries to take him down with a single, but doesn't get it. And he stuffs that takedown attempt. Great movement on the ground. Full guard. Guillotine attempt here. 90 seconds remain. He's got a guillotine with the arm in. He's in full guard, Mike. Oh, he might have it. And he gets out. That was a close guillotine. Moves to half guard. The player's right on him. He's starting to swell up. He gets in a full guard here. Joe, he's showcasing some great movement on the ground. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, oh good big right hand. hand. Boy, he is in big trouble, Mike. Hughes is looking to pass here. That's an outstanding transition. Oh! Oh, big shot! 
It goes the distance. Matt Hughes' near submission finish earlier in the fight may be enough to earn him the victory. I think that near submission stands out as the most successful moment in the fight, and uh, I believe that got him the win. Round two, he's almost got it here, but his opponent gets out at the last minute. Round three, it looks great, perfect technique, tries to lock it up, but loses it last minute. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we have the judges' score cards for a decision. The judges score the contest 29 28, 30 27, and 30 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Matt Hughes! Matt Hughes wins here tonight by unanimous decision.